This is like one of the most interesting topics. Remember way back in the day when you believed in like gravity and this anti-gravity, this top secret super technology and aliens and all this nonsense. And a lot of it had to do with these uh, sh these straight up liars, these deceivers like uh, Bob Lazar and his Area 51 and talking about all the complexity of these UFOs that he got to go into and all this just total nonsense. Basically, all anti-gravity, well, since gravity doesn't even exist and the Earth we know has a magnetic field, uh, you can simply see demonstrations of anti-gravity technology. We know that just a $5 compass in your hand proves that the Earth has a magnetic field. It always points to the center of the disk that we're living on. What I do find interesting is some of these unpopular maps that show a dark tower in the middle of the North Pole. Maybe they call the North Pole the North Pole because there is a gigantic pole. Remember in the Bible where it says that the devil took Jesus to this, the tallest mountain in the world and he could see all the kingdoms of the world. Well, that's real. And it's probably in the center of the disk that we're living on. I found pictures of what seems to display the black tower cracking the glass ceiling or the firmament, whatever. There's quite a few testimonies about Nikolai Tesla and this uh, anti-gravity technology, or you could just call it the Earth's magnetic field technology, you know, anti-Earth magnetic field technology. But there would be people that would go and spy on Nikolai Tesla, and there were eyewitnesses that saw him hovering around on a platform that made no sound. He was just hovering, flying around up in the air, and there was no explanation for it. But now that we understand this simple technology, it's not that sophisticated. A lot of it has to do with amplified electromagnetics, you know. The Earth has a magnetic field. That's why this video should be called Anti-Gravity Laugh Out Loud. Because it really is that simple. All compasses point to the center of the flat disk. What I find so interesting is the Bible's detailed model of the earth that we are actually living on it really does have four corners it really is God's footstool God really did separate the waters from the land and created a firmament God really does look down upon the circle of the earth you know, in the center there is the North Pole literally and it most likely creates the magnetic field that's why a simple compass everything points to the center of the disk so next time you see some video on YouTube about unidentified flying object look it's a UFO hovering over Houston or all this dude it's simple anti-earth magnetic field technology or amplified electromagnetics it's simple it's not sophisticated Nikolai Tesla was experimenting with this technology and like 1900 no microchips no motherboards no super processors and when you look back at all the lies and deception you can almost laugh it's comical this this super top secret anti-gravity technology yeah right it's just one big joke